I am James Evelyn, and you're watching Time 2 Football. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown and mention several teams that he has the possibility of playing for in 2019. But before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell icon that's right next to it so you can stay notified every time we come out with a video. But Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown, if you've been living under a rock, hasn't been very happy with the Steelers organization as of late, going as far as requesting a trade out of Pittsburgh. And we can now say that this is going to be a reality and Antonio Brown will play for another team in 2019 because we got confirmation from the man himself. AB posted something on Instagram and let's go ahead and put that up. This is what Brown posted with the following caption. Had a great meeting with Mr. Rooney today. We discussed a lot of things and we cleared the air on several issues. We both agreed that it is time to move on, but I always have appreciation and gratitude towards the Rooney family and Steelers organization. So that pretty much just sums it up right there. Antonio Brown will no longer be a Pittsburgh Steeler going into the 2019 NFL season. But the question is, which franchise will he play for in 2019? We sat down and we analyzed all 32 NFL teams and we found out that 21 out of 32 teams have a realistic possibility in pursuing Antonio Brown. These are 21 teams that have or should have some sort of interest in him. Whether it's a lot of interest or a mild amount of interest, 21 of 32 teams have a chance of landing Antonio Brown. That's a lot of teams, so we're not gonna mention all of those teams. Instead, we narrowed it down to five of the best opportunities for Antonio Brown. Starting off with the first team, the Indianapolis Colts. We all know that AB's teammate Le'Veon Bell has been posting cryptic comments underneath Instagram posts that are related to the Indianapolis Colts. So if Bell goes to the Colts, then how cool would it be if Antonio Brown joins him as well? But looking at the bigger picture, T.Y. Hilton is the number one target for the Colts. And T.Y. Hilton did miss a few games due to injury. And Andrew Luck didn't miss a beat because of it. With T.Y. Hilton gone, he was able to do wonders with Mo Alley Cox, Zach Pascal, Chester Rogers, and so on. So if you get someone like Antonio Brown, who can fill in very nicely for someone like T.Y. Hilton in the event that he does get hurt, or even if T.Y. Hilton were to remain healthy and Antonio Brown would be on one side of the field and T.Y. on the other, just imagine how good Andrew Luck and that Colts offense can be. Plus, if they sign Le'Veon Bell. Another team that I wanted to mention, the San Francisco 49ers. So it seems like 49ers legend Jerry Rice has been in contact with Antonio Brown. And who knows what they've been talking about, but it seems like Brown is interested in the possibility of playing in Northern California in that beautiful weather. Plus, if you pair him up with a Jimmy GQ, a young quarterback that can throw the ball in Brown's direction, it'll still keep Brown very relevant as far as the debate as who is the best wide receiver in the NFL. The third team that has a chance at acquiring Brown, the Carolina Panthers. Now this is kind of iffy because it's kind of dependent on whether Cam Newton plays or not in 2019. But if he does, imagine Cam Newton being paired with Antonio Brown, especially with Devin Funches leaving more than likely for free agency. Now we know it's not his choice and it's up to the Steelers organization at the end of the day, but having Cam Newton, Antonio Brown, and Christian McCaffrey will make them Super Bowl contenders without a doubt. Our next team on the list, the Miami Dolphins, his hometown of Miami, Florida. So you have another veteran in Frank Gore who did the same thing, going back to his roots, going back to Miami where he came from to play with the Dolphins and now Antonio Brown can do the same thing. Think of it in the situation like Marshawn Lynch who quote unquote retired from the Seattle Seahawks, but the Seahawks still owned his rights. And the only thing that would have gotten Lynch out of retirement would have been playing for his hometown Oakland Raiders. Lynch pleaded with the Seahawks organization to trade him to Oakland, and now Brown could do the same thing. By the looks of it, he has a relatively good relationship with the Steelers front office, so he can do whatever he wants. He can beg, he can plead, he can talk to Art Rooney to trade him to his hometown of Miami. And the last team we're gonna talk about you guys aren't gonna like it, but it's the New England Patriots. And the reason why this is a realistic chance of happening 
is because the Patriots need to fill a void after Josh Gordon has taken time indefinitely out of the NFL to focus on his health. The Patriots have gotten some good seasons out of receivers like Wes Welker or Julian Edelman or even tight ends like Rob Gronkowski, but they haven't had that legitimate number one wide receiver talent since probably Randy Moss, and Antonio Brown could fill in that void for someone like Tom Brady and would be a relevant target for him to throw to. But that's our list of the landing spots for Antonio Brown. Like we talked about at the beginning of the video, there were 21 teams total that could benefit from the presence of Brown. But the teams that we mentioned are the best opportunities for Brown and for those NFL teams to succeed. But if there's a team that we left off the list, please comment down below and let us know. Engage with us, talk with us. We would love to hear your opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.